Hey everyone, it's Swather and I'm back with a new video. So today I thought I would share a little bit of my past with you. More specifically, some things from my past that I think you will enjoy, maybe even very funny, and most likely you will be able to relate with. This is Teacher Stories. So this first teacher was a bit of a bitch. She hated me. I hated her. It was a mutual hatred. But she started. Kill me. I had her for art in the first year. And it was okay at first. But then I quit with the theory. She would pick on me all the time. She would pick me out, give me a row when other people would do the same thing. At first I thought, oh, maybe she's just doing it just as an example to people. But the way that started happening all the time, I realised no, it wasn't. You know, if everyone at the table was talking, she would pick on me every time. I'd get in trouble. There was even one time where I wasn't even talking. I was actually doing my work quietly. And other people at my table were talking, and I still got called out and told I was disrupting the class. No idea how that works, but it does apparently. So I also found out why she didn't like me. It turns out she had been teaching my brother the year before, and they did not get along and knew that he was no longer in her class. She decided to take that hatred out on me, and I was a victim of her hatred. So thanks for that, Kyle. You know, I thought maybe it was just for that year when she would teach me to hate me, but no, I continued afterwards. There was a time when I had to get something from one of my friends who were in her class, and the whole time she would give me the most bitchiest look you could ever imagine. There was also a time after I finished school where I was with my friend, and we were walking through town, and we bumped into her in the street. I said hi to her, and she completely ignored me. But then she sat and talked to my friend for about 10 minutes and they had a conversation and stuff. That then, she said by them and just walked away. Completely ignored me. And yeah, she was a cow. So teacher number two wasn't really bad per se, but she was an alright teacher. Just, she just deserved to be on this list. I had her several times and she was a religious education teacher. But yeah, those classes once a week, every week, it was very annoying, especially when she would go on and on and on and talk about how great God was. This mystical creature that apparently created the earth in five days and controlled every part of her lives and we're all gonna go to hell. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay much attention to those classes. There's also the one time when me and a couple of my friends were so bored in that class, but we ended up playing knocking crosses. It wasn't too bad. That was only like the first, second and third year. When it came to fourth year, none of us cared anymore. We all just sat in that class and didn't talk. Even when we were meant to have work given to us by the teacher, we didn't do it. We would all just sit and talk to each other and we had a great way of getting out of doing the work. Whenever she gave us work, one person would ask her a question, not even specifically related to the class or the work, but then she would start talking to that person and talk all period. So while she was doing that, the rest of us could talk to each other, shout across the class to each other, play music with or without headphones, and we basically got away with murder in that class. Not actual murder, we didn't actually kill anyone, I think. When we were actually given work, the only stuff we had to do was like those colouring in things where it's pretty much an already drawn picture and it's just got the numbers and just colouring the numbers. Yeah. We were so overworked in that class. Also, something well noticed was she would randomly get up and leave during class several times in each class. She'd be gone for a couple of minutes each time, and none of us really knew why. And then we found out. Apparently she was leaving to go to the store cupboards for the classroom, because apparently she had a stash of sweets and chocolates and stuff hidden away into the cupboards, and she was ditching her class to go and eat them. To be fair, I would do the same thing as well if I was a teacher, except I wouldn't hide them away, I would hide them in my drawer, in my desk, and just sit there. I would be stuffing my face in front of the class while laughing and say, oh, I'm to starve. Teacher number three was pretty annoying. He was my registration teacher at school, so that means I had him every single day of school. And let me tell you, having to listen to what he has to say every day gets incredibly annoying and makes you want to die. Quite ironically though, is that he would talk about Africa and dead babies and children and how they're all starving and dying and got disease and how we 
we don't all get all their money that every single thing we ever have up so they can live. Yeah, it's terrible you have to starve and live in poverty. But you know what? I hear enough of it. I get it on TV, radio, online, everywhere. Bombardments of course. I don't need it. Shoved down my throat by my teacher every single morning. Well, not every morning. More like three of the five mornings. So yeah, three out of five days he would be talking about that. If it wasn't all about that, then he'd be talking about like drugs or alcohol or sex and, and abortions and stuff and it's annoying and it's pretty much how every single thing ever can kill him. He seemed to have a story about someone who died from every little thing that he ever talked about which is really quite suspicious if you think about how many people we supposedly know who has died. Those classes were annoying because when it's half in the morning you just want to sleep and get an extra 20 minutes of sleep before the actual classes start. What you don't want is to be sitting there tired, grumpy and moany, wanting to sleep just having someone come in going, DEAD BABIES! STARVING CHILDREN! Oh, that whoa! So that's it today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give me a little thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe to see more of my stuff when I make it. And if you've had any annoying teachers or teachers that seem to hate you or you're hated or would pick on you, then pop down to the comment section below and tell me about them. This is the place to do it. We can all bitch about them together. See you next week. Bye.